so let us continue from where we left in the previous session so we are at question number 18 now so in this question number 18 we are having a for loop in this for loop we are having two variables the variable i and the variable j right so we are having two variables variable i and variable j value stored in the variable i is 1 that is from in the initialization part the value stored in the variable i is 1 and the value stored in the variable j is 10 okay then we are having this condition in this condition i am checking whether the value of i is less than 6 or not right so the value of i is 1 which is less than 6 therefore will uh, come to this printf statement and it is going to print something so what it is printing it is printing the value of i and j so value of i is 1 and value of j is uh, 10 initially therefore it is going to print 1 and 10 now it will go to this statement that is incrementation part so it will increment the value of i and it will decrement the value of j so now the new value of i becomes 2 and the new value of j becomes 9 right now it is going to go to this statement that is the conditional statement and then it is going to compare the value of i with 6 and the value of i is 2 which is less than 6 therefore this condition passes so we are going to go to this printf statement so in this printf statement we are going to print the value of i and j so it is going to print 2 and 9 right and then again we are going to come to this uh, state incrementation decrementation statement so again we are going to increment the value of i to 3 and decrement the value of j to 8 and again check the condition so 3 is less than 6 therefore the condition is true so again we will go to this printf statement and it is going to print the value of i and j so the value of new value of i is 3 and the new value of j is 8 so it will increment the value of i now so the value of i becomes 4 and the value of j becomes 7 4 is less than 6 therefore it will print the value of i and j so well it will print 4 and 7 again it will increment the value of i therefore the value of i becomes 5 and the value of j becomes 6 so 5 is less than 6 therefore it will print the value of i and j so it will print 5 and 6 then again it will go to this incrementation increment statement and it will make i as 6 and the j as 5 now when the value of i is 6 so this condition is false now so because this condition is false therefore we will come out this while uh, this for loop so the output is one zero two nine three eight four seven five six, which is the option number A. Okay. Now check out the question number nineteen. So in question number nineteen, we are having two variables, the variable i and the variable x. So the value stored in the variable i is one zero seven three eight four seven five six. And the value stored in the variable x is 5 then in the printf statement we are having a condition right so in this condition if the value of x is greater than 7 right we can we can uh, write this condition something like this we are just exploring this condition so in this condition it says if x is greater than 7 right then we are going to use this percentage D, that means we are going to give uh, uh, make the statement as printf percentage d comma i if it is not greater than 7 then I am going to use percentage c right and the value of x is 5 and 5 is not greater than 7 therefore I am going to use this percentage c so this statement will become something like this printf percentage c comma i so the value of i is 107 and I am printing this 107 in, into the character format. So uh, that is it is going to uh, print the sky symbol which is equivalent to this uh, numerical value which is 107. So let us see which is, the, which is that symbol. So if we print, if we say then small a is represented by 97, small b is represented by 98, then 99, 100, 101. 102, 103, 104, 105, 106 and 107. So it is small b, small c, small d, e, f, g, h, i, j and k. Right? So it is small k. So it is going to print a small k. Therefore the option number c is correct. Okay? Now 
चेक द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी इन दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर टाइम ट्वेंटी वी आर हैविंग द वेरिएबल आई सो दिस वेरिएबल आई इज इनिशलाइज विद द वैल्यू थ्री राइट इन द कंडीशन थ्री इज लेस देन फिफ्टीन सो विल गो टू दिस नेक्स्ट प्रिंटर स्टेटमेंट सो इट इज गोइंग टू प्रिंट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई सो इट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज गोइंग टू प्रिंट थ्री एंड देन इट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई हियर सो इन दिस केस सो इट विल मेक इट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एज फोर then after incrementing here it will come to this statement so this statement will make uh, increment the value of i by 3 so the value of i is now 7 so after this we'll check this condition so the condition is 7 is less than 15 which is true therefore it is going to print this value now so it is going to print 7 and then it will come to this incrementation statement so it will make, uh, make the value of i as 8 then again it will uh, come to this statement so it will Uh, increment the value from eight to eleven, and this eleven is less than fifteen. The condition is true. Therefore, it will come to this printf statement. It is going to print the value of i. Therefore, the value of i is now eleven. Then it will increment the value of i. So it will make it twelve. Then again, it will increment the value of i here in this incrementation statement. So it will make it fifteen. And now fifteen is not less than fifteen. Therefore, it will come out of this loop, right? So it will print the output as three, seven, and eleven. So option number C is correct. Okay. So now we are at question number twenty one. So in this question number twenty one, the value of which is stored in the variable a is nine, which is an integer number. The value which is stored in the variable b is five, which is also an integer number, and the value which is stored in the variable c is thirteen, which is also an integer number. Then we are having this expression. The expression is a minus a divided by b multiplied by b modulus c. Is greater than a modulus b modulus c, right? So if we check this expression, in this expression, the precedence of multiplication, uh, this multiplication, division, and modulus, the precedence of all these, uh, all of them are same, right? So if the precedence of all of them are same and they are calculated from left to right, okay? So if They are calculated from left to right. So initially, the value of variable a is nine. So this statement is now nine by five multiplied by b modulus c, right? So this nine by five, as this is an integer number, so it is going to give me only one. So don't confuse that it is going to give you one point eight. It is only going to give you one. So it, it now this statement will become a minus one into b modulus c, and the value of b is five. Modulus c, so five modulus thirteen is greater than nine modulus five modulus thirteen. Okay, so the value of a is nine. So it, it, the statement will become nine minus one into five modulus thirteen. So if we multiply one by five, then this becomes five, and five mo modulus thirteen is five. Therefore, the statement will become five. Okay, so. This nine minus five should be greater than this uh, this statement. So the, in this statement, it is nine modulus four five, right? So nine modulus five is it is going to give me four because it is going to give me the remainder. If we divide nine by five, therefore the remainder is four, which is which is again model uh, we have done modulus by thirteen, and this statement is now going to be four is greater than and this statement is also four. So four is not greater than four, which is false. Therefore, the option number B is correct. Okay. Now in the question number twenty-two, we are having if statement. So here we are saying, if A is greater than B, then print F A greater than B. Else print F this part. Then they have asked. Uh, a less than equal to b will be printed if. So when will this statement is going to be printed, right? So when will the statement is going to be printed? So this statement is going to be printed when this uh, this condition is true or false. Doesn't matter why because this if statement is associated with this printf statement. So that means if this condition is true, then they they are going we are going to print the statement. And if this condition is false, then we are going to go to this else part, and this else part is associated with this printf statement. right so it doesn't matter whether this condition is true or this condition is false in any case we are going to print this statement right so even if the value of a is greater than b or the value of a is less than b or the value of a is equal to b 
in any case we are always going to print this statement right so the option number a is correct option number b is correct option number c is also correct therefore option number d is all of the above so d is correct okay now check out the question number 23 so in this question number 23 we are having some if else statement they have given the value of a b and c and then we have to find out what will be the output in this case right the if a is greater than b you can you can uh, view this complete if else statement like this if a is greater than b then if c is greater than b then print f1 else if c is equal to a then print f2 so it is going to print 2 okay else print f 3 right so else else print f 4 okay and they have given the values of a b and c so the value of a is 5 b is 6 and c is 7 so in this first first condition so value of a is 5 and the value of b is 6 right so 5 is not greater than 6 therefore this condition is false therefore we are going to go to this statement and it is going to print 4 right okay now let us check out the next problem <coughs> 